everybody. It's Al from Boston. Uh, I want to make a quick video regarding some things that uh, are kind of breaking and it's kind of concerning. Yes and no, but I want to just talk about it. And uh, let's go to LinkedIn real quick. All right, Dr. Marco Metzler. You guys don't know who this guy is. He's part of uh, his own rating company. Uh, he rates um, essentially uh, securities globally. Um, and I want to talk about something that I, I, I think is pretty important, right? Citadel can use commercial, right here, let me put this, right? Citadel can use commercial paper and bonds as collateral and receive 100% credit on par value for that, okay? Once Evergrande is declared bankrupt and has a D status, the hedge funds can no longer use the Chinese paper and bonds as collateral, okay? Let's think about what we're talking about here. Let's go to this Bloomberg. Listen, I would have pulled out my Bloomberg, but this is kind of late breaking that I want you guys to take a look at. Um, Evergrande, here is their uh, their holders, institutional holders. And you notice number 12, Invesco. That's something that Citadel, Citadel holds in, okay? That's something that they absolutely have in their portfolio. And once Citadel fully devalues it, right? And it's gone and it's, it's nowhere to be found. Um, they're going to essentially lose a ton of margin, right? And they have to come up with more money. That's not what's concerning. Uh, it's something else. It's like, in order to get more money out of them, like in other words, if they were to buy more of Invesco or go directly to Citadel, uh, for I'm sorry, to uh, to Evergrande to get more money. In other words, if they were to buy more uh, commercial paper, if they were to you know, do more bonds direct, um, they're, they can't go directly to them. And this is something that uh, Lou had brought up in a video I, I kind of looked into, and I'm pretty sure this is what's happening. And I have to give credit to Lou for this because he figured this out before I did. Um, it didn't occur to me until I watched one of his videos. And I think he might be right about this. I'm not certain. But I think what's happening is they're using a medium. They're using somebody to uh, cover their, their tracks. They're going through somebody. And I would say it's either JP Morgan Chase, um, who has got some mean stock nonsense, some ETF that they've created. Uh, and also BlackRock, who I think uh, is probably the guy to talk to, or those people to talk to, because they're doing tons of stuff going on in China right now. I'm sure you guys already know, I don't have to tell you. I brought up Morgan first because uh, they have a, a mean ETF, which we're going to talk about later. But let's talk about BlackRock, Fink. Uh, Fink is the CEO. He has been around for a long time. He's got trillions in assets for that company. He is a smooth operator. Uh, you know these guys, the, the largest hedge fund in the world. And they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Their hands are everywhere. Uh, and it's going to be huge. Now, I think, and, and, and I'm going to agree with Lou on this, they have used BlackRock as the medium to obtain uh, the, the, the excess bonds and the collateral needed for it. So it, for, the, for, for, for BlackRock, it's dangerous. They don't realize what's happening here. Well, I'm sure they do, but they're hedging to, you know, to, to, to get a better position. I think when the market crash happens and there'll be multiple crashes and it'll be a slow process, the bag holder in all this, well, of course, it's going to be Citadel, but the bigger bag holder is actually, in fact, BlackRock. They're not going to, I mean, I don't know if they're going to fall uh, because they have trillions in assets, but they're definitely going to be a bag holder and it's going to be huge. We're, we're talking systemic risk stuff, right? If their long positions, for whatever reason, get liquidated, we're, we're talking a fundamental drop and possibly a crash to like crazy small numbers, like ridiculous numbers, like 1990s numbers, maybe lower. Uh, it's it's going to spell a disaster. Um, I have to I have to admit the possibility of them doing this subversively, uh, yeah, covertly is very high because they're like I said they're all friends with each other, they all know each other, they share plays, so on and so forth. If you guys believe this to be true, let me know in the comments. I don't want to be the paranoid guy, but I'm just thinking to myself, you know, how are they doing this? They're getting a loan from somebody and somebody's giving them this money as a collateral. So they're giving up something. And it's like it's like a it's like a home equity loan if you will, right? And Lou is spot on about this. He 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 pulled it up. And it's very possible he's correct on this. But if anyone's going to be the one doing that kind of business, it's going to be BlackRock. So kudos to you, Lou, for figuring that out. Um, and I, I want to let you guys know about this because I think this is important. This is system, systemic risk. This is the stuff that destroys like worlds, not markets, worlds. We're talking going back to zero because if they're the bag holders and they lose a shit ton of money, 
that cascades. That case cascades everywhere, right? And that means it's going to hit Main Street as well as Wall Street. Wall Street's going to be the release of our problems. We're talking about just life as we know it is, is going to be over, and we are we don't know what to do, where to start from. It's a reset. It's part of the Great Reset. I believe that's what's happening here. But um, I'm telling you guys right now, Citadel is not going to survive. And and let me tell you one other thing: the if that happens, the play the our plays with AMC and GME will be amplified. I know I said, hey, a million dollars, this, that, and the other, or whatever, right? If this actually happens and we're still holding and the squeeze is happening and all these is valued and the crash happens, our shares are going to be worth much more than a million dollars. You're going to see it just, I'm, I'm talking out of, out of the Milky Way galaxy into, you know, some planet eons away, XP, four, five, three, whatever, some planet somewhere else. That has the possibility of happening if these things happen the way that it looks like it's going to happen. It's we're talking serious systemic risk that the entire global market, financial market will crash. And we're not talking partial class like 08. We're talking devastating total collapse. You know, uh, everything is so expensive we can't afford it. Uh, type of crash. Yes, that I'm not trying to fear be a fear monger. I don't like spreading this shit. So I think it's just counterproductive. But, you know, it's it's got to be mentioned, unfortunately. And I think you should know about it. Um, but Citadel, I, I don't know how they're doing this. They're doing something really shady. And, uh, you know, it's 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 there. And if BlackRock or, or maybe even Morgan, you know, JP Morgan is possibly involved. If those two are involved or one of them, folks, we're, we're talking calamitous, calam calamitous uh, actions and uh, results. So I hope you found value in this video. Um, Props to Lou from Wall Street for putting two and two together. I didn't even think about that. Lou, I, if you're watching this, kudos to you, dude. That was really brilliant, actually. And uh, so I wanted to give you a, a shout out for that. That's a, it's a great analysis. All right, guys, that's it for Al. Uh, I'll try to keep in touch with you guys today. We'll see whatever else is cooking off, I guess. Um, don't worry about the NFT thing with Adam Aaron's and the sell-off. I know there's 300,000 sales. That was already predetermined from last month. We already knew about that. We already knew it was coming. Not a huge deal. Um, I think the fact that they waited to, it went up to like 33, 34 to drop it. It was actually a courtesy because if they had dropped it at 29, 25, it would have been a lot worse for everybody. So uh, not a bad thing. Not, not a huge problem. Um, so that's it. That's all I got. Thanks. Bye.